hours and 45 minutes later, we have finally made it to Romney. Romney is roughly a four hour drive. Wow, actually probably a little less from Middleburn. It's less. From New Martinsville, it's a four hour drive, everybody told me, but. All right, well, I don't know what all's in Romney. We just got here. Um, but I did see something interesting I'd tell you on the video. It is West Virginia's first town. Pause. No, there's two towns that says it's West Virginia. Well, according to their signs, they're the first town of West Virginia, December 23rd, 1762, was their, whatever you call that, you know, when they became a town. <laughs> okay, real quick. Add in, I got these maple candies, maple confections made with pure maple syrup. I am a huge fan of maple candies. This is Heasley Home Homestead here in West Virginia. So somebody do the honors and open that up and we'll all try it. Okay. I would kick you in your niche. <laughs> I don't care if you got the keys or not. <laughs> Here, hold it so I can get one out. Oh my gosh, yes. Pure maple syrup candies from Heasley Farms. Mm. My God. Mm. I love maple candy. <clears throat> Very good. No heat index though. No, no, there's no heat. Like it. Mm. Review what the cat thing say off. Even though we're in Romney. Why is the cat thing Romney? Just giving a little shot down through here as Ed's filming. It's a nice little town so far. I mean we haven't really we literally just got out of the car. Just wanted to give a little quick shot. There's some businesses through here. Uh, Realty Place, Home Medical Equipment, Hampshire Review. Is this a newspaper? That's a newspaper, yes. This is Hampshire County. Hampshire oldest County here in West Virginia. Oldest County in West Virginia in what is arguably the oldest first town. But you need to, I am actually going to explain that on a TikTok video today. We'll be I'll probably launch before this video does, but you know, edit it with 39 on TikTok you'll get to see a strange moment in West Virginia history. B.W. Hill Insurance Agency. I don't know why, it just struck me as a cool little <laughs> building, the front of it with the old ste steps and the sign and all that. There's all kinds of little stuff down through here. There's a thrift and variety store, Romney's, Anderson's Corner, Hampshire County Helping Hands. Ed's trying to film as I'm talking. <laughs> and there is the courthouse. Anderson's Corner, fine jewelry. Hey, look, Ed. Yes. There's a clock. Oh, yeah, you want that means, don't you? No views for you on Instagram. No. Was you going to get a picture of that? Was you going to get a picture of that? No. <laughs> I seen you looking, I thought it was something interesting. I'm like, uh, okay. I haven't really seen any open storefronts, like closed. No, no we, no, we got another section of town where we could go down and take a look at a couple other things. But no, this, so far, this has been a pretty cool town so far. Most of the businesses look like they're here. Yeah, I haven't so. seen I haven't seen anything that uh, really looks empty. No, I mean, so, I mean it's, they got some fast food restaurants, missing a key ingredient one of Wendy's, but we'll forgive them for that one. Come on. Look, they got a dry cleaner. That is not something you see very often anymore. It's the Soft Cloth Shop, Gina's Alterations and Dressmaking. Well, and you know you're a happening place when you got a sheets. It's like a Christmas tree field here. <laughs> They've got Christmas trees all over the place in this yard, in this in, in, in this area, and 
there's signs in front of them. It's like the county clerk, the credit union, there's businesses. So all the businesses in different places through Romney um, have sponsored a Christmas tree here. And that right there is called Esther's House, Mrs. Smallwood, Toys from the Heart. Bear joint. Riley's, there's Moose. We're on the outside. Well, I guess I mean, it's still not outside of town, but it uh, Main Street extended. Yeah, this is like not really the downtown area, so to speak. I mean, there's like a barbecue joint there. I would go try. Uh, actually, I wish I, my, I wish Siri had told us. Yeah, Siri lied to us. She didn't tell us the truth. But there's some typical business. There's a Southern State. There's a Family Dollar. There's a kid running across the um, road. Yeah, there's somebody running in front of the car. Apparently, they don't know me. Personalized impressions. There's, I mean, so there's some little business in there. But this thing here really intrigues me. Ed was talking about, and he has got to get a picture somehow because somebody wanted him to get a picture of this place. It's the West Virginia School Deaf. The deaf and blind. Deaf and blind. But the old building here. <clears throat> Right there, right here would be a good shot if you could pull in right here. Just park here and then take the picture from there. Like there, West Virginia School of Deaf. I went that way. She went to Sheets. We just came out of Sheets and there's no red light at this intersection and everybody and their mother seems to be slowing down as they're coming through this intersection. And their grandmother. And their grandmother. And you can't get out. <laughs> Not if you're going across anyways. So we uh, went the other way and then came up a road and turned around and came back up a one-way road and came out on to the main road. That was a pretty long-winded. Say that again. Yeah, we just passed the police car. The lady, that's um, the deputy there, looked pretty attractive. I floored it to see if I could get pulled over. All right, we're leaving Romney, West Virginia. Not so, yet. well, not quite yet. We're making one more stop. Ed Cena cemetery actually it's kind of cool and creepy looking at the same time the sign alone look at this indian mound cemetery indian mound cemetery tell me that's not like some creepy looking old sign 1762 to 1860 <laughs> if you see this video posted that means we survived if you don't see that video posted or you see or you hear of two people like dying in a friday the 13th type incident yeah, we didn't make it. As Ed's taking his picture, I'm going to wrap my segment up of Romney. Because, um, of course, I was able to get two videos out of this trip. I should. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I got enough footage. But I'm watching the skies also, and we're creeping up on sunset. And I'm like, oh, it's starting to look pretty in areas. So, Romney, West Virginia, if you're traveling through, um, I know on, is it 68? 68 can take you to Kaiser. You can take 220, I think, in, into Romney. I think right. 220. But um, we took Route 50. Route 50 is the most beautiful way to drive, let's say. Oh, yeah. Um, Route 50 is an amazing, beautiful, scenic drive. So, um, I mean, if I recommend coming to Romney, I say Route 50. But any way you get here, it's a, it's a beautiful stop, relaxing stop. And, and, we're, and I'm going to go into a cemetery. So that's really relaxing, I guess. We yes, we're time. in the cemetery, uh, and Ed is doing his closing down. clip for his video a in the cemetery. Off, uh, I don't oh, oh, oh. Do well, I don't know if you can see it, but that's a school, and this is a cemetery all around it. So we're kind of thinking they must not really even fool with failing you with a bad grade. Well, this has been an up and down trip. Oh man, that's even bad for my standards. <laughs> we're going up, and then we go down. Actually, right now we're just going up. There's no down to this front part yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Five, four, three, two, and we level it out. We level out. I don't know, that seemed like a dead ending to me.